Hi guys, it's Ben here. How is it all going? It's another away day today, this time Bury, uh, my second away game of the season, Liverpool Spurs. Um, and I'm feeling great this morning. It's an absolutely scorching day, as it is every single day this summer. It's the best summer of all time. Um, so yeah, it's nine o'clock in the morning, gonna get the train from London Euston to Manchester, which gets me into Manchester at around half 12, I think. Then it's a tram journey to Bury, I believe. Uh, we're not staying up there tonight. I can't handle another night out. Um, Chester last week really wasn't a good idea. Um, I felt dreadful the following day and decided that I'm never going to drink again. So I'm a man of my word, I'm not drinking tonight. Uh, but I do feel I, um, I had boxing training last night and the night before, and I'm so achy today. Um, but that's not going to stop me enjoying this. Um, Jen Shakiri is a Liverpool player. Uh, which is exciting. Uh, it's been one that's been quite obvious for a long time, but still nonetheless. Um, good to see him in red. It's always exciting when a new signing comes in, whoever it is. Uh, he won't be in action today, obviously, uh, but still uh, I'm looking forward to seeing him on the US tour. And um, what is going to be interesting today is the Danny Ward, uh, Loras Carrier situation. Um, you know, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. And yeah, just hoping for a good performance, a good day out, and yeah, a, a win for the Reds. And um, we'll get back home, back to back to London later on, hopefully for the Rocky Fielding fight uh, on TV. Yeah, let's see how we go. We're in at London Euston Station, a familiar train station on these vlogs for what I believe is a very hungover uh, Oliver Bond. So that'll be a, a sight to see. He is now officially late. I'm uh, waiting for him to emerge from here at some point, but he's officially late, which is not good. So we've upgraded the first class because the two women sat opposite us, we just couldn't bear him any longer. We've been, we've been sat on the train for 10 minutes and they were just the worst, so we've relocated, we've, we've, we've forked out for first class because yeah, that's the only way we're going to survive this two, two hours and a bit journey. So yeah, let's enjoy ourselves. Just pulling into Manchester now. Proper beautiful stuff. Thing of beauty. I've still not perfected the tram uh, way of living in Manchester, but you know, making our way through nonetheless. Your match, souvenirs. Bit of a race on in the background is what we like to see. About 10 minutes will kick off. Adam Alana there behind me, Robertson. Um, Karius didn't make any mistakes in the warm up, so we're all good up to now. Uh, see how the Reds get on. So the first half was very dull to be honest, um, nil nil obviously, never really got anything going, created very few chances, um, quite sluggish, I mean Origi has been noticeably poor, um, this is probably his last chance uh, to impress, um, this pre-season is anyway, and he's just been really sloppy, no technical ability at all. Um, Ojo the same to be honest. Um, Milner's played pretty well. But yeah, other than that, it was a pretty, pretty poor first half. Karis getting jeered. Um, let's hope for some excitement and some goals second half. Oh, 
fans, a big thank you for coming down to the Energy Check Stadium. Obviously, going as I was saying, that was a really dreadful game. Um, if we're going to wax lyrical about the, the Chester game, then by the same token, we've got to say that was really poor. Nobody really stepped up to it. Um, I thought Curtis Jones' first half was promising. Um, he's brave on the ball. He does things that you know, does the does the difficult things. Doesn't go for the simple things. And um, the Lana second half was probably the only one that really lit the class above. Um, but yeah, not clinical in front of the goal. Obviously, these the, 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 these attackers that are trying to make a name for themselves really failed to do so. And time is running out for them. Um, they got the tour, obviously, but chances might be slightly. Uh, less, uh, you know, available for them then with other players coming back in, Shakiri and, and others. So we'll see how it goes. But poor result, and yeah, not not really much positive to take from that. Other than there was no goalkeeper mistakes. Loris Karras <laughs> didn't make any cock ups, and uh, yeah, take it from there. So it's approaching 10 p.m. It's been a very long day. Been out for probably 13 hours. And that's another away day in the bag. It's another ground ticked off. Um, find it a bit mad that I've spent about 13 hours of my day um, traveling to and then watching uh, and then traveling back from uh, a nil-nil draw between Liverpool and a League Two side in a non-competitive game. But no regrets. Um, what else are you going to do on a Saturday? Um, yeah, the Reds, obviously, as I say. We're quite turgid today, but there's more to go into these games than that. It was a lovely day out. I love going to Manchester. I don't go there enough, really. Um, although, I suppose I don't really have time to, but... Um, so the last time I've been there was probably five weeks ago for the Tyson Fury fight. And the next time I'll be there will probably be New Year's um, for Man City. So, yeah, I'd love to go there again in between time. But, yeah, I love the place. Um, so, yeah, but... That is the last domestic friendly that I'll be going to this year, I believe. That's the last game in Europe I'll be going to this year until the season starts. Um, yeah, so no Blackburn because, you know, I've got work and stuff. Um, no Torino, no Dublin because I just couldn't afford it really. So, so yeah, that's, that's a shame. But yes, I am going to New York, which is why some of the other friendlies became a bit difficult financially and in terms of booking time off work. So I'm going to go to New York for a few days for that Liverpool versus Man City game and to go to the city. We're really looking forward to visiting the place for the first time. Uh, my first time in the States as well. Um, would love to go to the Dortmund game and the United game as well, but, um, you know, don't want to ask too much of myself. Um, but yeah, no, really looking forward to that City game. Other than that, it's going to be business as usual. Just previews, match reactions for the rest of pre-season, transfer news as well. Still some deals to wrap up, you know, Fakir. Um, conflicting reports going around at the moment. Neil Jones kind of shut it down um, the other day. Um, but reports in like France and stuff are kind of suggesting that things might get resurrected, so we'll have to see. Um, but anyway, nonetheless, uh, it is now about 10 p.m. I think I'm just about going to get back to my flat for the Rocky Fielding fight, Liverpool's own Rocky Fielding fighting for his first ever world every well, world super middleweight it is championship. Um, so let's see how we get some of that, and I'll speak to you back in the flat in a minute. Here we go, literally right on time. Come on, Rocky Fielding. Come on, Rock. Rocky Fielding wins in Germany. Beautiful, beautiful scenes here in the boxing for anyone that cares. Rocky Fielding has won the WBA regular super middleweight title. Uh, the man from Liverpool. Uh, lost to Callum Smith before, another Liverpool man, but yeah, he's bounced back and great stuff, great stuff. Delighted with that. That is all for now, guys. Thanks again for watching. Uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat and Facebook, of course, for more. And subscribe to this channel if you're new. I'll be back 
with the preview of Blackburn very soon. If not, before that, if there's any transfer news that needs talking about, I'll be back before that. Enjoy the World Cup final, enjoy the Wimbledon final. For those that are interested in that, I certainly will be, and I'll see you next time.